Hai Kak Ramadan And I'm Aina Almardia We welcome you to the Department of Educational Technology On this good occasion, we are going to be delivering information about the Department of Educational Technology And showing you some interesting spot and supporting facility to maximize teaching and learning in the study program So, let's, let's check this, this video out, out. The Department of Educational Technology is located in the main campus of Universitas Negeri Padang in Professor Dr. Hamka Street, West Air Tower, North Padang Subdistrict, Padang City, West Sumatra. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Abna Hidayati MPD, Head of Educational Technology Department. Educational Technology Department is the one of department in Faculty of Education, Universitas Negeri Padang. It is established in 11 of July 1996 and then its vision is to provide professional graduate in education field, especially as educational technologies. To put that into implementation, the department has managed some missions, namely carrying out a high-quality education with the support of information and communication technology and also conducting research and development in curriculum, instructional media, and program and training management. The Department of Educational Technology has 24 talented lecturers consisting of one professor seven associate professors, eight assistant professors, and eight lecturers whose different expertises, such as curriculum, blended learning, multimedia, and educational technology. To be an educational technologist, the students must accomplish 147 credits during their study, which consists of 26 credits of general courses 6 credits of pedagogical courses, 99 credits for educational technology content, 10 credits of integrated educational technology course, and 6 credits for research. There are two types of classroom available to conduct learning activities, such as conventional rooms and multimedia rooms. The learning process has been managed by implementing the case methods and project-based learning to increase students' involvement during the session. In addition, the classrooms have dynamic design equipped with interactive whiteboard, projector, and facilities for students with disabilities. The Educational Technology Department also has an academic service room where the students can acquire academic services, for example, final project guidance, thesis supervision, and internship supervision. The administration room is available to facilitate the students to have statement letter of active students, letter for industrial and school visit, letter for research, and any other administrative needs. Another supporting facility in this department is journal space, where there are two journal publications managed there, namely Itech and Inovtech. In this room, the editorial team sorts and distributes the available articles to the reviewers and then edit and publish them. There are 34 well-functioning computers for students and two computer servers in the laboratorium. This room has been designed well to help the lecturers and facilitators to monitor the students' work. Besides being a regular classroom, this laboratorium can also be utilized as the room for design graphics and multimedia units, where the students can improve their competences in graphics and multimedia for educational purposes. Digital Printing Laboratorium is equipped with one unit of computer control, digital printing machine, press machine, and one sticker cutting machine. Besides being utilized for lecturing activities, this lab also is used for the design graphic and printing unit. A student community who is interested in exploring and increasing graphic and digital printing skills. In addition, the students are encouraged to have creativity 
to produce some graphic-based products for business purposes. In audio and radio laboratorium, students can learn and develop their skills on recording, mixing, and editing radio programs. There are three rooms in this lab, such as broadcasting room, control room, and recording room. The aim of this lab is not only to produce audio programs for learning purposes, but also to help the students to increase their public speaking skills. The studio is equipped with lighting, microphone, camera, tripod, green screen, computer control, and etc. The main objective of this studio room is not only to create learning videos, but also to develop and improve the student skills in video production for several needs, such as learning, advertisement, and etc. The library in the Educational Technology Department provides quite adequate collections to support the learning activities and final thesis of students. Here, the student can do some activities comfortably since this room is designed to do reading and discussion activities. Hi, I'm Excella. Being a student in educational technology has been giving me many opportunities to explore my potential with the support of the lectures and facilities and the availability of some units to help me develop my skills in various competencies such as media design, cinematography, radio, and etc. I really enjoy studying here. With the availability of all infrastructure, it is expected that students can develop themselves in academic skills and editing aspect, so it can enhance their potential to compete in the work world. And it might give them some chances to create job opportunities for the other people. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have shown you in this video. Bye-bye!